Hey guys, welcome to an episode of Bedside Gaming. In this episode, I will be playing Cutlery Cupid. What the fuck? Now you're probably wondering, what is Bedside Gaming? Bedside Gaming is when I decide I'm too fucking lazy to get out of bed because of my immense amounts of depression. So basically I'm just sitting in bed playing video games. What am I doing with my life? Anyway, let's get started. Um, I think I'm going to simp for the fork over here. <laughs> God damn it, what am I doing with my life? Anyway, <laughs> let's get started. Oh my God. music Also on my side this music is absolutely horrendous Actually I may need to turn this down hold on um, Yeah I I'm sorry I had to exit to do audio shoes Um I'm going to bring music down a bit Hold on, is there a 69 option? Hey! <laughs> anyway. Ah, finally home after a long day of work. I can't believe we had to work through lunch. Only because that stupid intern didn't do the right paperwork. What a fucking idiot. The intern. You hear your stomach rumble audibly. Audibly? Damn, I'm hungry. Me every day. I'm starving. Guess we'll go s go with something easy today. I'm too tired to make something fancy. What would you like to eat? Bread. Okay, fun fact about me: I love bread, but I also really like pasta. So pasta. You choose the pasta. You make pasta and grab a bowl. Please say it's chicken alfredo. I fucking love chicken alfredo. Oh shit, almost forgot the fork. You decide to eat your pasta in the living room. Honestly, why wouldn't I eat it in here? After a long day, there's nothing better than watching TV, of course. What do you want to watch? We got big spoon theory. I will make your fork two and a half knives. <laughs> Honestly, I like two and a half knives. How is this show still airing? The knives are so awful. Exactly. You reach for the fork as you're about to eat. Whoa. Wait. 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 Whoa. What do you think you're doing? What? Who's talking? My dear, look down. Oh no, I hate that! <laughs> I'm sorry! Whoa, wait, what the actual fuck? Please, love, would you mind picking me up so that I could get a better look? No! No! I don't think so! No? You're just going to let me lay here all alone? Oh well then. I'll just talk to you. I'll just talk till you decide otherwise. Wow, how nice weather. If I could see it, that is, because I cannot. Please. You ha have a feeling he'll continue being petty if you don't pick him up. Me! Alright, I'll pick you up. Only if you stop talking about the weather. Hold on, I need to get some water. Ah, I gotta hydrate. Anyway. Uh, yay! God, no. So, uh, who are you? What is your name? What the fuck is it? Why is it blushing? Name? I don't really have a name. But what do you usually... But what do you usually call me? Something about, uh, f Fork? Yes, my name is Fork. Why? Why is this a game? 
my my I'm sorry. For what? <laughs> Your beauty. It is so distracting. I know it's a fork, but I cannot help but blush. A compliment is a compliment after all. Pop off, I guess. Oh, did I embarrass you? Well, you look even cuter when embarrassed. So, how about you tell me something about yourself? Your name, for example. Oh, shit. Um... Oh my god, wait, I can actually put in my username. Hold on. Duh. One. Hey! Emma DeWan, huh? It really suits you. Thanks, I guess. But I still but I still don't really know who you are, Fork. Oh, you in No! What is this? Well, I'm not that interesting, dear. You're not missing out. Damn! Can you say low self-esteem here? I'm actually more interested in who you are. Tell me something about yourself. Something deep you wouldn't tell anyone. Um, okay. Um, I ate mud as a kid. Oh. I don't know you that well yet. I... I piss in the shower. No, you know what? I'm just gonna click that just to see what his reaction will be. Actually, I don't even know this Ford's gender. Are you a guy, female, non-binary, gender fluid? What is your What are your pronouns, Fork? Does the Fork have pronouns? I piss in the shower. No joke. Whoa. All right, that's not exactly what I meant by personal. As I'm about to answer him back, I let out an audible John. John? 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 Yawn? I'm dyslexic. <laughs> oh my, it's so late already. You should probably go to bed, winky face. No! Where should I put him to bed? I'm just gonna shove this motherfucker down the toilet. I'm just gonna shove this motherfucker down the toilet! Bathroom! What do you think I am? A toothbrush? Yes! Hey, I'm a DeWan. Yeah? Have a good night, cutie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Hopefully this was all a dream. When I wake up, everything is gonna be normal. No talking forks, at least. No, instead there's gonna be talking spoons. I haven't slept at all. Mood. My head hurts. Mood. I should probably eat something. That usually helps. I feel like I've forgotten something. Oh yeah, that's right, the fork. Did it really come to life? Probably, since that's the main point of this dating sim. Nah, it can't. Be, it can't have been real. Just a stupid dream. Yeah. Good morning. Ah! Oh, good morning, Emma Dewan. Fuck no. That cannot be. Oh, yeah. Hi. Morning. So, you going to work today? Yeah, I am. And I'm late. Uh, talk to you later, Fork. Sure, have a great day at work. Don't overwork yourself. I hate this game! You go to work. Thank God! Five hours later. I'm so tired. What a day. As you're walking home. <sighs> Sorry, yawn. <laughs> As you're walking home, something in the store by the street catches your eyes. Hmm, maybe I should buy something for the fork.
because it's crackhead shit. And I'm a crackhead. It's part of paradise. Go big or go home, and I'm going home, I fucking guess. I'm actually gonna save my game here. Find the. Uh, they probably are good socks for him if he walks. Don't want him to scratch his metal. I don't like that. I'm home. <laughs> Welcome home, Emma the One. How was work? Not too bad. I managed. Of course you. Uh, of course you did. You're amazing at everything you do. Okay, first of all, this fork over here is raising my self confidence a bit. Oh, by the way, I bought you something. You give him the. Oh my! I must say, you're pretty direct, aren't you? No, I thought you might use them as socks. Oh, if you say so. I hate this game! I wanna die! No one's ever bought me a gift before. Oh? Well, I'm usually the gift bringer. I'm not surprised, to be honest. Oh? How come? You know exactly what to do- What- What do do? To pr I don't- Was the person who made this dyslexic? That I must know. You know exactly what to- Motherfucker. You know exactly what do do to please someone. I've never been complimented this much, be this much before I met you. I see. Does it make you uncomfortable? Not really. Although. <laughs> although. Although the fact that you're a fucking fork! Well, too many. And they lose their meaning, you know? And also, I bet you say the exact same thing to everyone you meet. Ouch. Well, am I wrong? <laughs> I guess not. But Emma the one, you're the first one to actually listen to me. And see me for who I am. Thank you for that. You make me feel like a strong fr No! Stop with the Lenny faces! I don't like that! <laughs> um, Fork, what about our conversation? I don't... I don't want to play this game. <laughs> ah, no! I think I don't really care. Oh. Uh, Emma the One? Yeah. Do you perhaps think I could fit? No! 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 I swear I won't try anything. I just don't want to be alone. You see that drawer right there, Fork? That's called the cutlery drawer. I put spoons, knives, and forks in there. There are a ton of them. You'll never be alone, bitch! Okay, then. No! No! I don't want you here! Wow, your bed is so f so soft. I know, right? Not too bad. Thank you so much for today, I'm the one. It helped a lot talking to you. Just sharing my feelings, letting it all out. He continues talking, but you struggle to keep your eyes up. I struggle love. Zzz. Ah, another day, another day for some, uh, great new opportunities? Hey, Fork, you awake? He does not react. You probably shouldn't bother him now. Why not make him some breakfast? He is a fucking Fork! He does not eat! But wait, he does- EXACTLY! Well, maybe he could, like, to help me eat mine? What should you eat for breakfast? I will say something I love pudding. My choice of breakfast makes me question my free will. Me. Does the fork have legs? Because if so, how the fuck 
did he get from my room to the kitchen? I didn't just walk upstairs, grab that hoe, and just go, hey, it's breakfast time. I don't like this game. I don't like what this game implies. Oh, are you awake already? What are you making? I'm making breakfast. I know you don't eat, but I wanted, I wanted you to, to, no, no. Oh, you mean to be your tool? Damn. Well, I'd love to, Amadouan. I'm just playing with you. Cool. You have fork and show them what you made. Oh, pudding. It's not really breakfast, but. No. No! No! You have no idea how much I want to penetrate pudding. No! It's texture and feeling really tingles my whole being. I don't. I don't like this. Thank you, Emma Dawn. This is just like old days. I've been in your kitchen for a really long time, you know? I remember when you bought me. At first, I didn't expect it to be anything special. But you really do mean a lot to me. Sorry for getting so emotional. I'm not feeling too well today. Good. Anything I can do to make it better? Oh, I... Baby girl! Baby girl! No, baby girl, but that has to wait. You don't want to be late for work again. You're about to leave. You take a fast peek back at Fork. He looks awful. You're trying to focus, but you cannot stop thinking about his sad face. What's on his mind? Is it about me? No, I should stop. He's just a fork, a tool made for consumption. No. Girl, what you need to do is you need to check yourself into a mental hospital. Tell the therapist, hey, I'm having feelings for an anime fork. That therapist is then gonna go, bitch, what do you mean? And that therapist is gonna check you into the psych ward for a longer amount of time. And there you will perish. Then I might have possible feelings for. God, I should focus on getting to work. You think? As you're standing in front of your, ho of your house, the smell of food fills your nostrils. Did this bitch cook for me? What the actual fuck? Who is making food in my house? Who's there? Emma the one. Surprise! Wait, Fork, you, you might di How? I'll spare you the details. Although, I must say, making dinner is surprisingly hard as that. Wow, you think? You think? Rather impossible, if you ask me. Well, what have you made? Oh, nothing much, actually. It's just... Pasta? Well, it's kind of hard to- Alright, after you say that, I don't like pasta anymore. Thank you, Fork. <laughs> I guess so. Well, I am actually quite- I am at the da 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 Well, I am quite hungry, actually. Well, sit down. You have to try it. I cannot wait for you to taste. I'm rather new at this, though, so please don't be too harsh. <laughs> you taste the pasta. It's awful. Perhaps even poisonous. Like, what the, what the fuck? How can pasta turn out this bad? So, how is it? Should I lie or should I tell the truth? You see, the nice part of me wants to be like, oh, it was okay. Should I just say, should I just lie? Say, oh my god, it was so great! Or should I just say, I've tasted better? Um, I'm just gonna continue eating, because food is food. I'd rather not answer that. Let's just continue eating it. It must be really good then, oh my. No, it's actually not. So, since you're finished eating, I wanted to ask you something. Oh, what? What? Well, I've never been out of this house since you bought me. So I was wondering if you could take, if you could take a small trip outside. Like right now? 
Well, yes, it's late, but I think the stars might be beautiful tonight. How romantic. Why? Why is this a game? And why is it so well written? God, I don't know why, but my stomach is killing me. Probably from the fact that you ate poisonous pasta from a talking fork. You ever think about that? Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> then let's go. On your way to the park, your stomach starts turning inside out. You start sweating. Is everything all right? Everything turns black. Oh, God. You died. What? You idiot. Trust your senses next to Did I just die by pasta? I just died by pasta. What the fuck? Damn. Well, then, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Cutlery Cupid. Um... If, if you want to see more episodes, let me know. Um, this was utterly atrocious, and I hated this with every soul fiber of my body. Um, next route we'll do, we'll do Spoon, because wh wh why not? Just, bye guys.